Okay, so uh, this video is to explain uh, the VVEL uh, control cam and stepper motor and the 5.5 degree inclination of degreeing the cam that it's necessary for it to run right. So if you ever take this tower system off to change out your exhaust cams, you're going to have to reclock this control shaft and re-phase it with the stepper motor. So the process that you're going to do to do this is um, you're going to roll up your motor on number one, top dead center. You can see it's indicated there indicated there and I also run a welding rod to make sure that I'm all the way up um, and what you can do is you can um, you can mess with bank two because this control cam will actually have movement in it right um, you won't be able to adjust uh, bank one until you uh, rotate the motor about 120 degrees and that will allow that to unlock and then you can do that side but for all intensive purposes we're just going to show you this side and then uh, do the same thing to the other one so when your motor's up to top dead center like this, you wanna go ahead and make sure that this control cam is totally locked in this position. You're gonna be making a measurement from the edge of this stepper motor right there, that stepper motor washer inside the spring, right there, to the actual edge wall of the inside of the, uh, the VVEL stepper motor casting. And this is 1.585 inches, as you can see on a micrometer. Right? So, what you can do, make sure that this control cam is locked. You see that slack right there? Make sure it's, it's locked all the way down. And then what you can do is you can sit here and to get your measurement right, you can just modulate the stepper motor and move it back and forth, kind of almost however you want to. Uh, sometimes I'll actually kind of do like one of these. And you see how there's, the, there's that movement? Now, when you go on the back, the six millimeter Allen heads, this thing has to be set locked like this with 1.585 dimension here, then lock down your six millimeters, okay? And then now you've made the 5.5 degree inclination from the factory that it has or the control cam is degreed. So once you do this side, lock that down, always make sure that this is locked in, and then you can go to the other side, rotate the motor 120 degrees, do the identical thing to the other side. Then when you put your VVEL sensors back in, make sure that the edge is indicated right dead center, and then that'll make it a lot easier when you're trying to make the adjustment to get the sensor within range. And that's it.